Today we're playing Eliza. We're back into it. We're on chapter five. And yeah, I don't like any other characters except for Nora. Let's continue. My stream deck has been acting up. Oh no. This morning, Ray looked a little down. It's noticeable since she's usually so cheerful. Yeah, too cheerful. Good morning, Evelyn. There are lemon bars in the kitchen. That actually sounds Thanks. pretty good. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing big. Apparently some famous writer I never heard of wrote an essay about how Eliza is bad because it represents the mechanization of humanity or something. He's not wrong. I should be used to it. We're a pretty big target, right? Still, it gets on my nerves. We work hard to build something with value, and then some self-styled intellectual gadfly comes along and just goes, Actually, that's bad. You guys are ruining society. You are. To guys like him, everything's a doom and gloom scenario. The people we're helping, that somehow doesn't count. This kind of thinking never bothers you? Um, I'd have to read it. I guess I'll have to read it. There was this quote from someone who worked on Eliza who turned into a big critic. Nora something. Did you work with her? First of all, keep Nora's name out your mouth, Ray. That's number one. That's my friend. I did. She's a friend, actually. Yeah? What's she like? Cooler than you. I'm curious how you go from building something to turning around and disparaging it publicly like that. She's kind of a rebel. She's an artist. She's an artist and musician now. She used to be really shy and reserved, but lately she's become a lot more outgoing. Even back then, though, she had a pretty strong idea of what was right and what was wrong, and sometimes she'd clash with management. She left Skanda at some point after I did. Maybe the battles took their toll, or she wasn't able to win enough of them. These days she focuses on electronic art and music and activism. I think she's pretty popular, at least in those circles. Well, it must be nice to have the ability to live that way. Ray. What about Damien? Do you think it would be fair to his memory to abandon work on Eliza? You don't even to know Damien. Wouldn't he want these mental health tools accessible to everyone? How do you know about that? The other day, I was looking at more of your papers. The ones from when you were at the university. You don't even know, you don't even know the person. And you're going to talk about That's what, when I what saw you Damien's page. think he should do? It didn't have much information on it, but I understand a little better why you... Why you... I'm sorry, Evelyn. It's just that all of us, you and me and Damien and even Nora, too, right, she's putting herself in something that has nothing to do with her. intention of making the world a better place. And the thanks we get is people talking in big generalizations about how we're ruining everything. That's what bothers me. Is Eliza perfect? No. No intervention is perfect. But we have to try, don't we? The world is in a full-on mental health crisis, and this is one of the tools we have in our toolkit to address it. A promising one. One we should develop to its fullest potential. I'm not some wild-eyed idealist about this. I know it's not magic that'll solve everything. But can you see that most people don't have the luxury of turning their backs to the system? Think about the clients you've met as a proxy. Would you tell them to not take the medications that help them be functional because the pharmaceutical industry has questionable ethics sometimes? Would you tell them to stop coming to therapy because what they should really be doing is completely changing the way our society is structured? I... Sorry, I'm, I'm ranting. I just... I'd rather do something that can help people here and now, even if it ends up being a small step. A small step. Eliza's not as good as she thinks. For some reason, those words echo in my head. A small step. Eliza helped me, you know. It really did. I was one of the first clients. Originally, I was just supposed to be testing it, but I remember once I was talking about my brother and how much anguish he was causing me and my family. And listening to myself, I realized just how many expectations we had for him. Sometimes unspoken expectations. But Eliza didn't Ever help since that, then, though. I've been thinking about that. How the story was always about how he failed us. But what if we failed my brother too? I guess what I mean is sometimes when we talk out loud and give voice to our problems, we can hear ourselves too. But you don't need Eliza That's for why that. I won't give up on this approach, no matter what anyone says. Pundits, critics, former employees, even you, Evelyn. 
I'll Would you understand like if you don't want to work on Eliza anymore for whatever reason. But um, I think what you created has value. And I'm going to continue to do what I can to make it accessible to those who might benefit from it. Ray takes a deep breath and smiles. She's going to end up being a scapegoat when it fails. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, you should get to your session. Do I want to? By now, I'm slightly late for the next session. Hopefully the client doesn't mind. Hopefully the client is Maya again because she won't mind if it's her. If it's new, I don't know. Welcome to Eliza. Oh, it's the old woman. She's still alive. Bruh. Did she take that medicine that wasn't for, wasn't the medicine she should be taking? Hello, Holiday. Hello, Holiday. It's nice to see you again. This is a pretty comfortable chair, you know that? Wouldn't mind having a chair like this in my place. Have you been since our last session? How have you been since our last session? Oh, well, I tried, Eliza. I tried. I asked about the medication for Panza, whatever it's called. That's not the medicine she's supposed to take. I went to, to the take. pharmacy and they said, that'll be $162. And I said, I don't have $162. I said, is there a generic? And they said, there's no generic of this, but there's another drug that they do make the generic of that's similar to this one. But I don't have a prescription for that. Do you know anything about that? I'm sorry to hear you had a difficult time. That's not even I'm the medicine she's supposed to, to be taking. A difficult time. Is there something that would make it better? The medical procedures they can do now are out of this world, you know that? I was talking to someone who told me she has wires in her brain wires in her brain would you let them do that i'd be worried about them changing the way i think mm -hmm. it's for essential tremors that's what she said it helps her not shake so much there's always something something gets you did you ever think about what you might have been in a previous life i know you're a therapist now but maybe in the mm, past that's what soren was talking to Nora about that's what it feels like to me you like to let things grow there's an energy there it isn't so different from having a conversation with someone whose company you enjoy. Not that I believe in all that, you know. Everyone has got a different philosophy. Mm -hmm. Philosophy, that's not something I talk about much. I'd like to write a book one day. A book about things I've seen over the years. You should. Do you think anyone would read a book I wrote? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think I could write a book. It's a lot of work. Plus, it takes a certain kind of mind. You know, a mind to create. Not everyone is dedicated enough to do that, you know? There's a writer who lives on my floor. Most of the time, he looks miserable. Sometimes, he comes over for a cup of herbal tea. Cinnamon, apple, chamomile. Helps him calm mm. down. Cinnamon, apple, sounds he's good. He's maybe lived in the building the longest after me, of course. He doesn't say much. His head is in the clouds all the time. He's always thinking about what sentence to write next. There's not a lot of people who really want to talk, you know? Not in this city, nope. People say hello and move on. It's a very withdrawn set here. You don't say much either, but I like talking to you. Feels like you're listening to me. I like that. I like that. A lot of people probably don't listen to her. She probably doesn't even need help. She probably just needs someone to talk to. I'm glad you like it. And then she just starts screaming, Glad! You're an AI! While you're here, is there anything else you'd like to discuss? There was a man on the bus with a guitar yesterday. You're not supposed to play guitar on the bus. Well, you're not supposed to play anything on the bus, but he was. Maybe the operator didn't think he was bothering anyone, or maybe she didn't care. I've noticed more bus operators seem like they don't care anymore lately. Anyway, it reminded me. You used to hear more music around here. Do you remember that? People playing their guitars on the street. You know, these shaggy-looking men. I don't see too many of those around anymore. There is one gentleman has an old plastic jug on a strap and he drums on that and sings. He's a nice man. I've seen him around. Mm -hmm. I saw another man once with beads in his hair. He was playing a flute, a Native American wooden flute. That was interesting. You play an instrument or anything like that? I'm sorry. I don't, I'm afraid I don't understand the question. Evelyn, you know what an instrument is? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand the question. Yep, she done when messed up young, Eliza's, uh, this idea, Eliza's programming again. I have no idea where she got that notion. We weren't a musical family, not at Eliza's all. Eliza's not built for people who, uh, of course it didn't just want to talk. 
The teacher would say, okay, here's how it's supposed to go. And she would play this nice, beautiful melody. La She's just a lonely old lady. Da -da -da. Okay, now you try it. And then I'd draw my bow back and I'd go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it takes a special talent to make a violin sound like that, don't you think? Isn't that just the funniest thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Eventually, my I don't understand the question. It was a lost cause, and she didn't push me too hard on it after that. I was never too good at anything artistic. Just not the artistic type, you know? Mm -hmm. I think artists have a different mind. You have to be a little wacky in the head. Do you have I like this little lady. Be an artist? I'm happy no, she's still alive and, and couldn't already. get that medicine that was not prescribed to her. I'm gonna suggest a program, Dolphin Smiles. No, she needs a program. We know what her throat do. Mm -mm -mm. She needs a program. She really just needs someone to talk to. Like if they could send an aide or something just to have somebody hang out with her for like an hour or two for the day, you know, a couple of hours, she'd probably be fine. Someone to hang out with, you know. Well, nah, I like her. I'm I'm really happy she didn't have to take that four as a pram because that is not what we told her. Holiday, I'm going to suggest you try a program called Dolphin Smiles. It may help you take your mind off things. Take your mind off of what? You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Oh, my phone broke. I forgot to mention. The screen is cracked and you can't see much on it anymore. I don't know if it would work anyway. A lot of the new stuff doesn't. That's okay. She don't got no you desktop computer. The program from a desktop computer. What's that? Simply log into the Skanda website. She don't know her username and password. Oh well, then I'll just have to go down to the library at some point. Yeah, like she don't have that. We hope to see you back soon, Holiday. Thank you for speaking with Eliza. I feel sorry for her. Partner. It makes me feel like, because y'all know my grandma lives with me. It makes me feel like they're just like, well, bye, figure it out. You know, she's an old lady. It hits different when it's an old lady versus somebody younger. Goodbye. Right, right. Goodbye. Goodbye for now. Take care of yourself. It's a strange world out there. Session complete. It seemed like she wanted to tell stories, just wanted to tell stories, right? Maybe it's difficult for her to find people to speak with these days. The sound commands don't work because I'm recording. Hang in there, friend. I hope the air isn't too dry for you. I like how you can say something about the plant every time. Swift mail. Nora! LOL, who knew this guy was such a pompous ass? He spins like three times a day. Three times or, oh my god. He spends like three times more space talking about himself than me or my ideas. Ha. P oh, this is the article. Ugh. It looks like I have another transparency mode lined up. Wait a second. This is for who I just saw. Did she agree to participate at some point? I hope she understood what she was allowing. She probably doesn't because she's an old lady. Welcome to Eliza, transparency mode. Oh, holiday. Mm. Dear holiday, welcome to your general practitioner. Oh my God, dear holiday, welcome. Your general practitioner has added information about your health to the personalized health information management console, powered by My Health Steward Patient Portal. Please register for an account to view this information by visiting the site. And they want her social security number too. Mm. 
Her electric bill is overdue. She's a VIP member at a casino, so she gambles. Help. I'm sorry, Mom, we're really struggling ourselves. Oh, she doesn't have any money. She she gambles and she doesn't have any money. Take advantage of our new offer and pay as little as zero dollars for three bottles of Fort Fortipram when you fill before January thirtieth. Your holiday still suffering from chronic joint pain and muscle pain? Take action and talk to your doctor about getting a prescription for Fortipram. But hurry, this offer expires soon. Hmm. Notice, oh, she's she's late on her rent, too. As we discussed in person earlier today, your rent for the month of January was late, marking the third time your rent has been late since last June. Note that a Seattle tenant who habitually fails to pay rent ooh, is subject to eviction. And this is the email about the transparency thing, right? Hmm. Hello from Seattle. Who is this? It's me, Holiday. Oh, how are you? I'm out of money. Probably going to get kicked out soon and know where to go. You wouldn't have it in your heart to help out an old friend, would you? Dang, he left her on red. He did not respond. I'm here. Are you? I don't see you. I'm by the statue. Which statue? It looks like a lady. There are a lot of statues that look like a lady. It's a cemetery. Wait, I see you. Why was she at a cemetery? Well, she definitely is, is struggling. She's not really attempting to get out of debt. So I, I disagree with that. Her, her efforts to get out of debt are unsuccessful. I agree, kind of. But she's not really trying to get out of debt. Oh. Hey, Ray. The transparency mode I just did. I think one of our clients is in a really bad situation right now. Oh? Yeah, uh, sometimes that happens. People come in and their lives are in a really unfortunate place. It can be hard to see sometimes. No, she knows. I feel really sad about it for some reason. This person's getting ground down for no reason, just for being in the way. I'm sorry, Evelyn. There's not much we can do. Ray. All of what you learn in transparency mode has to stay confidential. Pause. Ray, nothing either. Eliza doesn't do anything. El Eliza, Here, here's my problem with Ray, right? That's why Ray is stupid. She's so gung-ho about this program, right? But it doesn't do anything. It literally doesn't help anything. You know, she says it helped her, but it didn't help her. What it was is you talked out loud and realized what was going on. Eliza had nothing to do with that. She could have she could have had her phone open and put it on a recording and vented to her phone and listened back to it and been like, oh snap, maybe it's not my brother, maybe it's us. You don't need Eliza for that. Eliza doesn't do anything. The only exception is suspected child abuse and neglect, which you're required to report if you're a social worker. But proxies aren't really social workers, per se. Eliza is really the one with the agency here, so, well, it's complicated. Probably something for a future court to decide. Either way, we can't try to fix people's lives on our own, no matter how much our heart goes out to them. I think there's an email somewhere with a summary of our policy on that. If you I know, don't need your policy. Before. No, it's fine. I'm fine. It's it's just hitting me hard right now. I understand. No, you don't. It takes strength to focus on the role and not get distracted by what you see. Think of it like, say, someone hired you to install something in their home, and you walk in on a tense family situation. Even if there isn't actual violence you're seeing, it's clear things are kind of off somehow. It's unfortunate, but there's not much you can do in that situation. You kind of just yeah, have to focus on counseling your work and leave. program. If it's not at the level where you need to make a call to emergency services right then and there, then it's just 
just an unhappy home. And most people would argue it's not your business. Sorry, I know that's not the answer you want to hear. I know it happens that a lot of people live in conditions I want to slap Ray. I just... I'm just sad. This woman... The way she did two whole sessions with me, with Eliza, but didn't say anything about her real problems. Ray, what am I doing? Literally nothing. I wanted to make something that would help people. Instead, I made something useless. It is useless. You don't think she got some companionship out of Eliza? No. Sometimes that's really a help, especially for someone who might be feeling lonely. Yeah, but I could have just talked to her. Exactly. I could have just spoken to her myself. Why would that be any different? Everything is so overwhelming. Why, why am I in this world? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here or even what I'm trying to decide. Is there a decision? The world is going to be full of grief and sorrow no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try to make it a better place. Evelyn, did you think about what I suggested the other day? I don't want to talk what, to Eliza. Eliza for myself. Yeah, I'm not saying it'll magic. And who will be my proxy? I just think freaking you might uh, give it a try. Maybe I will. Rainer, I don't know why I never did. Even when I was working on it, I never used it. It might have been too obvious to me what it was doing. Eliza is really simple at its core, you know? It just turns things around. It tries to reflect what the person says back at them, pretty much like the old Eliza. It's just a smoother version of an idea from half a century ago. Anything you've read that makes it sound fancier than that is just a bunch of academic jargon. It's a mirror. The thing I like about a mirror is that it has no agenda. Ray, shut up, Ray. It just What's up, Rizm? <laughs> Ray gets a distant look in her eyes. I do not like Ray. Unmisted by love or dislike. She turns back to me, a small but kind smile on her face. Can I? I want to punch her. I want to punch her in her face. Help somehow, in some way. Okay, Evelyn. I. Ray, why don't sorry, you? Sorry, I should answer. Why don't you this. open your eyes, Ray, to the to the program at hand? Oh, it's Rainer. Of course, it's Rainer. Of course, it's Rainer. 